guys, it's uh, Fox from the Hatchet Mod Discord. Uh, after watching my old refueling video and seeing the poor quality of it, I went and decided to make a new one with some better quality. Uh, first, I just want to apologize in case voiceover isn't too good. I'm not really used to doing this kind of thing. But I'm going to go ahead and break the video down uh, into multiple pieces and add a timeline into it. So if you already know something or just want to skip to a certain part, you can. Uh, first thing you're going to have to do is set up the mission. Uh, in order to do that, all you're going to need is a compatible helicopter. In this case, I'm going to be using the MH-60M. The tanker, I'm going to be using the one provided in the mod. And optionally, a game logic. Uh, in this case, in the video, I'm going to be using a game logic because I want to set up a tracking marker for it. Uh, if you're not doing that, then you don't have to add a game logic. And further down the line, I'll explain what you can do to set it up. So set up the tanker. All you're going to need to do is place the tanker down in one of the four map corners. I chose the southwestern side. That's just more natural for me. Then you're going to need to set it up with four waypoints. Uh, three of those are going to be move markers, or sorry, move waypoints. Those are going to be located in the, in my case, uh, southeast corner, northeast corner, and northwest corner. Then you're just going to put a cycle waypoint as the fourth and final waypoint down in the southwest corner. Uh, once you've done that, then you're just going to open up the tanker's attributes and set its Z height uh, to 500 or 1000. Uh, in the video I'm using 500, but as you'll see later, that doesn't really work out for me on this terrain. Uh, so 1000 is generally preferred. And then you're going to put a little bit of code into its init. All this code is going to do is make it so the tanker doesn't overspeed you and it'll hold around 110 knots. And then I'm also going to add a variable name into the tanker. You don't have to do this. Uh, again, this is just for the game logic. And once you've got the uh, tanker set up, you're just going to place the game logic. Again, this is completely optional. And inside the game logic, you just want to paste the code. Uh, all the scripts I'm going to be using are going to be down in the description if you want them. And all this code is going to do is make sure the taker is alive. If it is, it's going to move the marker. And obviously it's going to create one too. And this will just help you keep track of where the tanker is at. If the tanker dies or something, it'll go ahead and delete the marker so you don't have to worry about doing that. And I'm just going to load into the game. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the load screen, the startup, and the maneuvering to the tanker. Uh, just because that's kind of the boring part. So once you're close enough to the tanker that you're ready to start refueling, but you're going to need to extend your probe. To do this, all you're going to do is look down at your FMS, it's the little uh, rectangular screen by your left knee. Uh, you're going to navigate to the fuel tab, uh, in this case we've already got it open. And then look for the extend probe or move probe option, it should be in the top right corner of the FMS. And you're just going to go ahead and do that, and if you look out uh, in front of you, you'll see your probe start extending. Uh, once it's fully extended, then you're going to move into a refueling position. So just kind of line up with the uh, basket. 
Uh, once you're lined up with the basket, just increase speed slowly until you're uh, almost on top of it. And then you're just gonna, uh, the best way to describe it is poke the basket with your probe. And once you get close enough with the probe, the basket will go and attach to it. And from there, you just wanna maintain your altitude and speed with the tanker and stay stable. And then once you're done refueling, all you're gonna do is maintain altitude and decrease speed. Uh, the line will get some pressure on it, but it'll break away clean. And then once you have a clean break, in this case, the tanker's gonna help me out by doing a sharp left turn. Uh, all you're gonna do is back off a little bit, go ahead and retract your probe. In this case, I'm gonna do it while I'm maneuvering away. And then once you've done that, then you just successfully completed a helicopter area, air to air refueling.